I've already had a lot of cake in the other confirmation with my Toshan host. Can save that for tomorrow. Though. Yeah, yes. yeah, more also, cakes. Meet my new host, Katrine. I just wanted to try to learn some other ones. Huh? How does it go so far? I know how to say eight. Ah. No, I know how to say <laughs> e, e, R, San. <laughs> and then I don't remember. And then Liu is six. Liu yes. is yeah. six. Liu. And uh, what else? And Ni Hao. Ni Hao Ma. Mm -hmm. I know that one and Wo Chao. I think it's Wo Chao. Catch it. I'm not sure. My name is uh, I am what? Wo Chao. <laughs> what? It's not Wo Chao. Wo How do you say I am? Wo Shi. Wo Shi. Oh, Wo Chao. Ah, Wo Chao wo is almost a bad word. <laughs> yes, no. oh, so, wo watching, watching Catch it. I was like, what? <laughs> Who taught you that? I tried to tell you my name. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. yeah, that one. And then nothing else. <laughs> only that. Uh, this music yeah. is only from the tunnel. Yeah. It's called the uh, music of the tunnel. So this music, you can only hear it inside the tunnel. When you come out of the tunnel, it will just be static noise again. It will go off. After almost three months in the Faroes, I still find there's so much to learn about this tunnel that links Chongshan with the second most populous island destroy. By tuning in on FM 97 while driving through the tunnel, you can listen to the music filled with mysteriousness created by the Faroese musician James L. Thompson. I couldn't find any soundtrack on the internet of this piece. Plus, listening to it while driving through the tunnel is the point. It definitely enriches the whole driving experience. So I'm not going to spoil it with a battery recorded track in my video. If you want to listen to it, you have to come here yourself. The sculpture in the center of the roundabout is designed by local artist Chundu Patterson. It's the silhouette of dancers participating in the traditional Faroese chain dance. It symbolizes the very Faroese idea that by joining hands and working together, we achieve great things. To be honest, I didn't really have a plan on how long I'm going to stay in the Faroes. Originally, Anna and I agreed that I'm gonna stay only a week in hers. After that, I don't know, maybe I'll book an Airbnb to stay for a few more days or take it home. But I'm so lucky, it looks like the islands want to have me for longer. Just when I was about to search for other places to stay, Katrin contacted me through Workaway, asking if I would be in the Faroe Islands in October. They would love to have me join their family. It is a really big surprise to me since I'm pretty new to Workaway. I totally didn't know there would be hosts contacting Workawayers too. Turns out that once you are a member of it, your profile can be visible to all the users on the platform. You can search, contact hosts around the world, and vice versa. To be a member of it, you just have to pay a yearly membership fee. A small amount, pretty affordable. After a happy ride full of great conversation, I arrived at Katrin's home where I met her welcoming family and these lovely kittens which I'm gonna take part in taking care of. This is a whale meat. Well meat. Oh, how do you usually cook it? Uh, this one you can f uh, fry on the pan, but if it if you want it to be very tender, it's good mm -hmm. to bake it oh, in the okay. oven, and then you make like sauce and stuff with it. Just like Anna, one of the first things Katrin showed me was the freezer full of food that you are not likely to find elsewhere. I think the Faroese are not only proud of but super loyal to the local product especially for foods. They will always buy the local one among all the other foreign options. Ah, uh, Fa Luo, Chindao, Faro Island. Yeah, these are bellies. Salmon bellies. It's like the sides of the, when they cut the fish open, and mm -hmm. then they cut the sides. It's the best part, mm -hmm. right? That is the one that China is buying. They put in Chinese, and but that one is the Russian. But why don't you guys eat fresh salmon in Faro Island? Yeah, yeah, we do. But in the supermarket, I can't see any. No, you can you can buy fresh salmon directly from directly from, from the, the factory. factory. Yes. How about uh, like normal people if they don't work yeah, in the factory? Yeah, they they can go there in front of the uh, like the reception. Yeah, yeah, they oh. can buy it there. Oh, that's why mm -hmm. I couldn't see any in the supermarket. Now we only have the frozen one there, huh? uh -huh. but if you go directly to the 
Paco Frost, then you will get the fresh one. Oh, okay. And you can also call them and order it. So if you can have a full size mm -hmm. salmon with the head and everything. Oh, okay. Only the stomach is cut, huh? But isn't it um, very difficult to cut them apart by yourself? No, very easy. But how about the bones? How can you get rid of the bone? No, usually you don't. Okay. When you bake a whole salmon, sometimes for confirmation and stuff, you bake it with the bones inside. Ah, oh, so but when you eat it, it, then you get, get yeah. Get rid of when it. you take like one piece, it it falls off the bones very easily. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the bone is big, so mm. it doesn't matter. But it goes off very easily. So this is the bathroom for me, and this is a special soap made of lamb fat. This is my room in Lemba. Uh, the host told me it has a very nice view, but it's so dark I can't see anything now. So I'll have a look tomorrow. And this is a painting done by another workawayer from Malaysia. So nice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make the bed now. Okay, I've settled myself, so this will be my room for the next few days. There is something very interesting in the room. This map. So each work away as who have stayed in here, they will put a pin on the place where they're from. So I've just put a pin on to this part where I am from. Actually, all of my work away hosts, they are pretty flexible on the working hours and my host Katrine had told me that on the website it says you have to work certain hours in a day but it's actually not that strict, you can just do it flexibly as how you like so everyone's kinda easy going, it's not like uh, you have to work on this and that at certain hours, nothing like that it's pretty late now, so I am going to sleep and... Oh. The whole night I've been hearing this <laughs> There were a few moments I thought the house is trembling I am making dinner for my host